Welcome back. The AUSA show floor boasts a wealth of emerging tech that comes in all shapes and sizes. One of the largest systems on display this year was the Archer Howitzer, a product developed by BAE Systems specifically for the Swedish Army. Now, the company is making a push to market the mobile artillery system to the U.S. Army. We stopped by the booth to learn more about its capabilities. Check it out. Hi, my name is Jim Miller. I am the Vice President of Business Development for Combat Mission Systems inside BAE Systems, Inc. Here at the AUSA show behind me is the Archer Howitzer. It is specifically designed for the Swedish Army, but has had proven uh, use around the world, currently uh, in the UK Army as well. But most importantly, maybe it's in Ukraine, in combat. The Army's making a decision now about how to replace some of their towed howitzers, and they're looking at mobile howitzers. And one of the things that uh, is is really good about the Archer is it is very mobile, it can move anywhere. It's modular so that we can adjust it to a different truck based on the Army's needs. So if one truck is too small or too large, the modularity of the system allows us to move it to a truck. If you don't want a European truck, can we use a US truck? And I think that's an advantage as the Army starts to think about how to replace a lighter house or a lighter house that has more mobility because it can be carried under helicopters and on smaller airplanes, can we get it to where the Army needs it through that modularity? And certainly that's a, a big advantage. Safety is a big deal in artillery. I mean, there's no doubt about that because uh, the way artillery uh, you know, goes into action and shoots above everybody, the crew of this vehicle is completely protected. It's a small crew. They're in the cab of the truck. The armor on the truck is sufficient to protect them against uh, you know, small to medium sized uh, fire if they get too close to something. It's also gonna allow them to survive against any counter fire artillery that comes back at them. But the most survival thing about this is the fact that this gun can be moving uh, anywhere down a road. It can pull off the road and in 30 seconds it can be firing and it can fire, uh, you know, four or five rounds. And before those rounds begin to impact on the target, everything's boxed up, put away and on the road again in less than 30 seconds. And so when you're talking about survivability, when you shoot, people see you through radars or whatever, and if you can do that quickly and get out of the way, you're gonna be much more survivable. What we're seeing in Ukraine, where the threat is uh, more about UASs and an air threat, the ability to move at high speed and kind of raid in from a great distance, raid in, shoot your mission, and get out of Dodge as quickly as you can and move a great distance at high speed, allows you to survive against a UAS threat as well. So the, those are the primary benefits of this vehicle is the speed, maneuverability, and then if you get too close to something, the crew's gonna survive because they're in an armored cab. 52 caliber gun on this, 21 rounds in the magazine, so you can shoot at 52 caliber ranges, so you're talking in excess of what we currently have in the US Army, ranges at 40 kilometers, maybe out to 50 kilometers, depending on the munition. So the volume of fire you can generate with 21 rounds in the magazine, ability to reload it very quickly, uh, and continue to move from place to place and survive, makes this howitzer an excellent choice for this army. The price advantage you see on a fielded system is it's already been developed, it's already been tested, the transition production's already been bought and paid for, and when the vehicle's in production, it's cheaper than when it's in development. And so it really would give the Army advantage to move very quickly, kind of do it off the shelf, buy it as it is, move out and transform in contact with good soldier feedback. So I think it's a great opportunity for the Army to do something very quick. 